Today we will be showing you how friction is involved in speed. The materials need a car or a racetrack and a tire. Now we will time what happens to the car when it goes down the track without touching the sides. Now we will time what happens when the car goes down the track while touching the side. The first run had a time of 2.3 seconds, and the second run had a time of 3 seconds. Notice how the second run's time took longer than the first. Friction causes objects to decrease in their speed because when they rub against another object, so the space between them acts like a zipper, slowing each one of the objects down. If one of the objects are fastened down, it can't move, then only the second object will slow down. So in the case of the second run, since the car was rubbing up against the side of the track the whole time, the track caused the car to slow down on its way down. Thank you for listening, and I hope you learned a new thing about friction. Spread it across the country. Here we go back.